types of loading depending upon how it acts loadings are classified if a load acts concentrated at a definite point in one or more place along the entire length of the span then it is named as point load or a concentrated load and which is represented by an arrow as shown in the figure examples if you see a person is standing at a free end of a diving board and any object is kept on the shelf at a definite point and so on next if a load of some intensity is spread over a considerable length then it is called distributed load most real world loads are distributed which includes weight of building materials and the force of water wind earth pressure etc and in this distributed load we will get three types uniformly distributed load non uniformly distributed load and third one is irregular varying load first uniformly distributed load if the intensity of load is constant along the length then it is named as udl uniformly distributed load examples the load of water acting at the base of water tank the weight of water on the ground surface the weight of a bed on the floor etc and so on next type of distributed load is non uniformly distributed load if the intensity of load increases linearly along length it is called uniformly varying load or non uniformly distributed load uvl load uniformly varying load is further classified into two types that is triangular loading distribution and trapezoidal loading distribution you can refer the figure shown if the intensity of load is zero at one end or both the ends then it is called triangular loading distribution if both ends has got some intensity of load and varying uniformly then it is called trapezoidal loading distribution examples if you see the earth pressure acting on a retaining wall and the water acting on the sides of the water tank etc these are the few examples of uvl load uniformly varying load next third type of distributed load is irregular varying load it is also called as general loading in this the load intensity variation is not uniform and linear for simplicity in the analysis such loading are replaced by set of equivalent point loads if you see example a truck carrying a load of sand or gravel and the weight of snow on the roof area and so on hope you got to know the types of loading thank you for watching see you on the next video